Well, millions of people noticed something sick in Hillary's outfit on debate night. Can you see it? Well, you can obviously see the outline of something there on her back and a line going straight up. And now I got tons and tons of emails and notifications about this very image, and I'm about to debunk it for you. Uh, it says, according to Paris Wade, yes, there has been a lot of discussion about the debate between Clinton and, and Donald Trump. Now, one thing that baffled millions of users is how Hillary seemed to be totally ready to answer with detailed facts. Well, I believe that's due to, in large part, the fact that she received the debate questions ahead of time, as we just reported. Now, they point out she didn't cough. She didn't reach for a drop of water, even. Now, what you see right here, yes, it, you know, you might be furious, considering the allegations of her using an earpiece to cheat. And some are even alleging what she did here was actually criminal. But there may be a simpler answer to what it is. I believe it is simply the body pack for her lapel microphone. Now, I'm wearing a lapel microphone. And this is my body pack. You can see it right here. This is the body pack for my lapel mic. And a lot of times people in uh, film or in uh, media, they'll wear this tucked behind their backs. And that's simply because it's easy to, to place. They can put a, a coat over it, as you can see here. Now, she was wearing a lapel microphone. Let's take a look at the image from the debate. She was wearing a lapel microphone. You can see it clearly attached to her right there. Now, that black line goes into her her blouse there and goes uh, through her clothing and it goes back to her back where her uh, lapel body lapel mic body pack would be now we do know that it's believed that she did have an earpiece in the forum debate so it's not a far stretch to believe that this is some sort of connectivity for an earpiece but the reality is is those earpieces that she would have worn are so small they are self-contained and they have a little micro antenna on it as well those earpieces so they wouldn't even need a body pack at all so I'm gonna completely debunk this entire argument right now because it's simply what it is it's the lapel microphone to her body pack and the reason they have a body pack and the reason why they wear the lapel is in the event of an audio failure so you know they had the gooseneck audio on the podium in front of her, but in the event that that gooseneck fails, these debates are seen by so many people that you have to have fail-safes upon fail-safes upon fail-safes. So the first audio track is going to come in from the gooseneck microphone on the podium. Second, the, f the first fail-safe would be her lapel mic that they would use in the event that she walked off the stage or walked up to Lesser Holt or walked up to Donald Trump and that they wanted to be able to track her audio or if the gooseneck failed. The third would be probably a shotgun microphone pointed in her direction as well. So this, I'm going to have to, t I hate to break it to you, but I'm, I'm going to debunk this right now. And I'm sure I'm going to infuriate a ton of people in the comments. Uh, but if you want to debate the issue, feel free. But this is my opinion that it is not anything to do with an earpiece. This has everything to do with her lapel. So comment below, subscribe for updates, and if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And remember for a limited time only, this 999 pure silver piece of history can be yours when you visit Trump. Dollar dot US. And, to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching, The Next News Network.